And this is your election command center. A magistrate court in Kumasi in the Ashanti region has nullified a transfer of voters in the Mensha South constituency. The court on Tuesday, September 24, that's uh, today, ordered the Electoral Commission of Ghana to revert the voters in question back to where they were transferred from. That's what happened. William Evans Sinkum is our Northern Bureau Chief. He's joining us on the telephone for a quick one on this. William, I appreciate your time here on Ghana tonight. Let's get a bit more de details into this. What, first off, is the foundation of this case that has led to the court's ruling that these voters were wrongly transferred and so the EC should reverse their transfers of their votes? Well, so uh, on September 20, the parliamentary candidate of the ruling new patriotic party, Nani J. Bapewa, uh, and some executives of the party uh, petitioned the court that some uh, about 1,000 uh, voters who transferred their vote to the Mensha South constituency did that illegally. And in fact, he cited it in one CI-91 as the foundation for uh, his petition as far as um, his argument that those voters do not qualify to vote in that particular or the Mensha South constituency is concerned. In, 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 don't forget that Mensha South constituency is the constituency of the, uh, the vice presidential candidate of the ruling New Patriotic Party, um, Dr. Matthew Boko who was once upon a time the lawmaker for that particular constituency. Uh, so, on after the hearing or after petitioning the court, um, the court invited landlords of those uh, about 1,000 uh, voters alleged to not having the legal right to vote in that particular constituency or the Manchester country to come there or to come to the court and then testify. So some came and some could not make it. So today we, we, we understand that the court made a ruling, that the Kumasi Magistrate Court made a ruling that about 600 uh, uh, voters out of the 1,000 do not qualify, or their, yeah, I mean, voters, voters transfer uh, have been nullified by the court. But as I speak to you now, both the Electoral Commission, when I made call to the Electoral Commission, they are saying that they do not have the full fact of this particular ruling and for that matter we are still waiting on the court to provide them full details so they can also do some reconciliation later by tomorrow they are likely to come out uh with their position as far as the court today's court ruling is concerned of course for the NDC, it's kind of different i spoke to the regional uh, organizer of the party they are saying that so far those people who were whose name were uh, were, were allowed to remain in the voters role as far as Manchester constituency is concerned. Um, they, had, they still have their numbers there, they still have their people there, and so they also do not know the about 600 people that the ND, NPP claimed that uh, they were brought into the Manchester constituency illegally. For the NPP, they think that it is a win for them, but it looks like we are going to clear a specific number as to how many voters um, who transferred their vote to the Manchester constituency were affected uh, by the latest court ruling. And what they are going to do, I'm talking about the voters, what they are going to do as far as uh, this particular ruling is concerned. So okay. essentially, this is, is, is uh, the N NPP issue, correct? That is a case of NPP members within that constituency taking this action co to court, and the court indeed looking into their case and, and making that ruling that their votes were transferred wrongly, and so that action should be reversed. Well, absolutely. So th that is the NTP taking the matter to court that uh, they suspect that about 1,000 voters who transferred their vote from various uh, constituencies to the Manchester South constituency did so illegally. And, and, and for that matter, who, uh, they are seeking a reverse of that particular action, which the court, the magistrate court, the magistrate court today granted. William, appreciate you for this. And William Evans-Singum is our Northern Bureau Chief there. And this is an issue that 
also clearly raises fundamental questions about what has to be done as well going forward, especially with this court ruling and the concerns that the NDC has raised about these wrongful transfer of votes or illegal transfer of votes, which the court now has ruled. And this is the case of the MPP, and this is the Mesha South constituency. That's the constituency of the vice presidential candidate of the MPP, Dr. Matthew Poco Prempe. There. We'll see how things play out in the coming days on this matter here on your election command center.